say. The devil say, is you fucking with me? I just want your soul. I can give you money, power, and a diamond ring. So okay. when I wake up with my head down, yeah. the only thing I realize is yeah. nothing but a dream. Shout out to the king of the Hi, welcome to my channels. Hi everyone, it is, um, sorry, this video is for the full moon in Libra for March 28th, 29th. Um, the full moon will take place, I want to say 10 to 12 degrees Aries around the second weekend um is where it's happening so definitely getting needy get into the nitty-gritty of what action we should be taking definitely in the midst of you know some big changes right now the new year just started so that's a good thing right and it's a little closer ish okay so yeah um we definitely like have this full moon right here trying to Saturn and Jupiter trying to the north node so we're gonna have an air trine so um, if you do crystal grids now would be a good time if you are looking to open the doors of communication um, with your higher self a little bit more um, go ahead and do yourself a nice full moon ritual if you know what you're doing. Um, you know, just release all the blockages that you had. Um, start with chakra, um, where you wasn't, you weren't able to, you know, tell the truth, or maybe you had a hard time accepting the truth with something that has to do with yourself, or maybe um, you blocked yourself off from um, receiving truth. Um, or you just want to create affirmations, just generally speaking, this full moon to where you release any and all blockages uh, with grace and ease and without harm to yourself and others that have to do with, you know, cleansing and healing and revitalizing creating a new energy that is more authentic to you um, when it comes to using your voice, um, creating your vibration that you spread with others. Um, Aquarius is about other people. It's about networking um, with groups. Gemini is about the community, um, close-knit groups. And then Libra is the one-on-one. -on -one. So, um, yeah, we're definitely having a doorway opening here and we can you know king of swords you know um get a lot of peaceful you know intellectualizing messages that give us emotional fulfillment or you know it opens up the emotional gates for us um and gives us an opportunity to with the sun being in aries you know, face our true identities head on and say, yeah, you know, this is the type of relationship I am having with myself. And it is one of, it is one of peace. It's one of harmony. It's one of balance. It's one of beauty uh, from the inside out, not the inside in. Um, Taurus is, um, Uranus is in Taurus right now. So the physical appearances, we, we may be shaking up. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry about that. But um, the physical parts of us are shaking up the physical reality, the physical values that we once held near and dear to us are radically shifting and changing according to where we are in our you know, journey of self. So, and everyone is unique. And that's the great thing about that. So let's get into this full moon. Um, it is, the moon will eventually... Um, it's going to come kind of Neptune. Um, give us a little in-depth spiritual background on what's been allowing us to just sit and not really make a choice just yet. Um, but what are we taking all in? What, what is the information we're acquiring right now 
um, so we can be prepared to um, go along with the mission that is authentic to us. Air, Gemini, this North Node right now, Mars conjunct the North Node, we're definitely wanting to take action. Um, Mars is the rule of Aries and that's the season we're in. So this season is about us taking action on the multiple things that we've been wanting to do that maybe we told ourselves we couldn't do or that we didn't have enough time to do or maybe we were running out of time to do. With Pluto being in Capricorn, can, time can feel very, very, very um, explosively different than what it used to in the younger time. And that's because we're in, in and on a different vibration. So when the moon squares... Pluto 26 degree Capricorn we're definitely holding ourselves accountable um when it comes to allowing ourselves to release old ways of thinking communicating sharing um our spiritual you know selves with ourselves first and then others next um, and it's and then everything starts in the ethers. Everything begins in the part that we don't see. So how we take care of ourselves in the dark and our privacy can serve for us. How we take care of ourselves in private. Um, this full moon in Libra is going to give us a, a full um, emotional awakening of how we can take care of ourselves in regards to one-on-one -on -one partnerships. Uh, with ourselves and others. So let's get into it. All right, so first car, let's do this because I'm just Uranian like that. First card is where we are. Where are we now? Ooh, Uranus, Aries, full. We're definitely ready for a new beginning. Um, we just had a new moon in Pisces that set all of this off and this moon is going to quincunx that it's going to irritate it just a little bit but the irritation between pisces and libra is more about you know because pisces is water light and dark and then libra has two sides also but it's inanimate it's about what's right and wrong and sometimes we have illusions that are you know granted beautiful but you know damaging in the long run so we want to start um, this season off right. We want to start it, get get on the good foot uh, with spirit here, um, with the sun being exalted in Aries, and allow our perceptions to gently shift coming through this full moon and Libra to something that is, you know, in a better favor for us, you know, as we allow ourselves to gently release those blockages that has been keeping us from you know saying and complimenting ourselves on the life that we live and want to bring into manifestation so uh, where are we going Ooh, fire hair queen of wands this is where we're going charm beauty heavily attracted attract attracted and attractive to what the heart desires um it's still spirit animal right here. We got a dog in this one and a cat. So spirit is very close. <laughs> spirit is very close. Um, our spirit is very, our higher selves um, is looking to communicate with us very, very deeply this full moon. So please pay attention to, uh, which is funny because... <laughs> I just bought me a flower today, a yellow flower. It was just so gorgeous. It was like speaking to me how to pick it up. So it's like, we, we, we may have moments like that um, during this full moon where the balance of life just speaks to you and you just like adjust so beautiful and so gracefully to the changes that we may have been very hesitant about, um, but still bold enough to execute on with this Aries energy. So what are we looking at for the outcome? <laughs> Leaper, baby, queen of swords. So we're gonna be definitely decisive with all this air energy coming through. Um, we may need to, again, listen and filter through some messages that um, 
maybe immature in growth, but not necessarily bad or evil or low vibrational. It's just immature as in it, it started as a small seed, but now it's at the point where it start, it's about to start growing. So, since it's about to start growing, we need to make sure, you know, we keep it trimmed, we keep it clean, um, we keep it watered. Um, and this is our minds that I'm referring to. This is the relationship we have with ourselves. This is the relationship we have with others, especially ones that are Venus that we hold in high regard. So um, we got fire and double fire. And um, this is kind of airy because it's Aquarius to, um, you know, Uranus. But it is Aries as well. And then we got, you know, more fire and then air. And then the page of wands at the bottom. So let's get into a little deeper interpretation and then we're going to seal it off with um, some advice from spirit. Okay, so let's, um, get this. let's go ahead and translate this full energy here. What can we expect with the full energy with spirit? What can we expect with the full? Ooh, so we got Neptune here. Um, and this is, again, going to be a quink clink. So, um, and this is, again, a new moon cycle that we're in with this full moon in Libra. Um, and this is leading us up to the new moon in Aries. So, um, this is a great time, again, to get rid of illusions um, and transcend um, by accepting the light in the dark parts of you that, you know, create a gentle balance, a creative balance, a... Uh, wholeness type of balance within us that allows us to move forward with this Chiron and Aries um, going to oppose the moon as well is going to help us you know feel okay even in chaos that is just a part of us being our selves it can get chaotic sometimes and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing like um, something's going wrong, chaotic. It's just the chaos of, you know, balancing who we are within and staying true to ourselves while, you know, the world and the collective all together is still in a dreamy, elusive state with Mercury still being in Pisces and Neptune also um, being in Pisces. So, um, yeah, we started off with, uh, you know, allowing ourselves to dream a new dream and now we accumulated that personal energy with all the you know going from the end now we're at the middle um, we're halfway through the energy of Libra and we see you know what has kept us off balance and now we just you know gently just you know doing the moon and record just okay and then we allow all that stuff to come out of us again without malice with race and ease um that allows us to complete the transformation. Mars. Um, let's look at the Queen of Wands. What is Spirit beautifying us with during this full moon in Libra? What is Spirit beautifying us with? Ooh, we got the Will of Fortune. That's a ten, ten, ten right? I don't own that. But yeah, this is ten right here. So we definitely get a fortune. The tide is changing. Things are turning around. Things are turning. The tables are turning overall, period. Um, and we we definitely want to look at everything like it is in our best interest. We don't want to um, be negative or um, pessimistic too much. We definitely want to have, again, balance. That's the thing with the moon and Libra. We definitely want to have a balance of emotions. But we got three X's right now. Okay. We got three X's right now. Okay. So Spirit is definitely here to give us some good fortune during this Libra. Like, oh, you've been fair. You know, you've been um, working on your balancing what part of you, especially during the Capricorn season. Um, Pluto in Capricorn here is um, giving us, I feel like, a treasure from this. It's not physical or literal. It's like energetically we're getting a gift and it may come a bit harsh, it may come a bit blunt, it may come very deeply emotional, intelligence type of, you know, um, download. 
when we get the square because we're going to be refined and transformed you know Libra likes things simple and um having a Virgo 12th house clean um Libra um wants to you know be there you know what I'm saying but not lose itself you know not lose itself in other things and other people because you must also know that Libra is about maintaining, you know, the balance of self. So I can't give too much to you and I'm out here, you know, needing what I'm giving you that, you know, that's that's not right. So any tendencies towards that is being completely transformed and chopped off during this phase that we're starting to go through because we go through it often, you know, things do come back around again. Uh, we will have a new moon in Libra where, you know, we see the benefits of what we're, you know, releasing today um, during this weekend with the full moon. So we will have that point, those points meet again. But, you know, with Jupiter being an Aquarius trining over to the Libra energy, again, we have some beneficial connections going on with our higher self where we get to experience a fortune in, you know, that air trine where all the doors are open and spirit is saying you know yes we, we're with the universe saying yes we're saying yes to the universe to you know let's say like i said attracted and attractive to what it is that we truly want and being decisive is a part of that so what choices oh, what well now what spirit do we want to be in when we make what spirit are we going to be in? What spirit do you want to focus on during this decision making? Okay, so I guess that was kind of it. Ooh, we got Mars again here. Mars and Capricorn energy, the three of pentacles. At the bottom of this card, it says works. So we're only going to allow ourselves to... Oh, and then this Libra at the bottom. Libra at the bottom. Come on, come through. Come through. You can't make this shit up. Libra at the bottom, baby. Adjustment. How do we adjust? Do we take the hard way? Do we, you know, take the uppity way? You know, the <laughs> the airy, airhead way? Or, you know, are we accepting that, you know, not everybody's going to like everything that we do or us, period. And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. As long as we continue to focus on filling our own cup, you know, we're going to run into those who, you know, are ready for the shits like us. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. North Node Gemini from the Virgo moon. We, 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 this is where we're headed. Especially if that's the focus, we're definitely going to get there rather than someone else wants it. It's up to you if you want to believe that. Because if you believe it, that's where you're going. If you don't believe it, that's not where you're going. That's just not for you. And maybe that's, you know, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe that's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for Ten of Pentacles. You know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm aligned with the Ten of Pentacles. But, you know, everybody ain't looking for Ten of Pentacles. And that's okay. Because, again, it's okay. Let's continue to focus. All right. So, um, definitely got some, we're balancing our decision with what will work. What makes sense. What's going to be long term. What will work out. Mars is exalted in Capricorn as well. So this is definitely beautiful, beautiful energy for spirit to um, us to sense and share in with the universe um, during this transit. Um, and again, Libra and Cap square, but they both are about you know things being right, things being balanced, be, things being um, lawful, as well as advantageous. So what are some rules and regulations that you want to make up? You know moving forward that brings balance into your life what type of thoughts do um you want to create for yourself that is a boundary to keep you in success you know what affirmations do you write on your mirror or um affirmations you write on your mirror or write on you know paper um because these are small ways to you know uh, um activate your inner magic so, Let's see what advice does Libra have for us or this full moon in Libra. Libra is beautiful. 
can be very indecisive, um, but it's still just just divine. Just I have a lavish, steady, dependable income, consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. I have a lavish, steady, dependable income, consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. Very Libra and Saturn. Okay, so one more advice card. I had a second to follow out with my alignment up. Okay. All right, so as any full moon, it's time to detach and move on, release, burn something responsibly. Okay, so the secret, I feel like this goes here. With these doorways open up, one, two, and three. Um, to me, this is like Aquarius. This is Libra and this is Gemini. Now that all these are open, visualize, affirm, and manifest. That's what we're working on. Allowing ourselves to detach from old ways of thinking that we are balanced and adjust, adjustment, and adjust ourselves into alignment. You know, visualize, affirm, and manifest your 10 of Pentacles. Listen, throat chakra is about speaking and communicating, but it's also about listening. And I'm gonna say this again for myself when I watch this again. Listen, this is my favorite car. If you don't know, you better know. I love this, she's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I just wanna, I wish you could see it. Oh, it's not doing her any justice, but she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. And transformation transformation it's sunny today so if it's sunny where you are allow yourself to transform in the sun stay hydrated of course all right so that's our advice visualize affirm manifest listen to the instructions you receive when you are done with writing or any full moon ritual during this full moon in libra and um judgment normally 20 is a judgment card but this is shown as neptune uh, judgment is Pluto, transform Pluto, Capricorn, square Libra. Two, two, two. Transform and be made over. For whatever a man thinks, so is he. All right. So, and that's not gender specific, so please don't come at me like that. Um. Again. Um, the time change, however, again, I'm going to go ahead and reiterate that I will be doing readings this weekend, Saturday, March 27th. You can check out the information on my Instagram. Um, it will be in Zia Born, okay, it's from 12 to, I believe we said 5 p.m. It could be shorter or longer, but you could come kick it with, you know, all the other entrepreneurs, network. As well as get a reading. Um, you can get some drinks. Um, those will be, you know, served later. Okay. So, um, any final moments for the collective spirit that I need to share? Be true to who and what you love. And don't allow um, the in conjunction of Pisces, illusions, and Taurus, Uranus and Taurus, um, other people's personal values as well as your own to cloud judgment that you will be making. A lot of people might feel like what you want is, I, I, would, I could say irrational, that's been my word now. But it could be more along the lines of it's not really irrational. It's just outside of their values. And that's okay. Like I said, it's okay. That doesn't mean we have to hurt and harm, you know, anyone just because they have different values than us. If anything, it means to um, communicate, understand, understand more um, how your differences also make you the same. All right. That's my peace. Peace. Love you. Niggas try to haunt me. I got that good just to keep me calm. See, as you blow me, I get that new bomb. Free. Be from the pain.